Hey everyone, my name is Shanice and welcome to Shanice Life on Point. Cute and neat. Okay, so the second one is she wants you to start thinking about Christmas in January. And I know it sounds weird to start saving for Christmas in January, but for people like me who just spent all of their lives, literally, in dollar forms. Um, yeah, anyways, I spent all of my life. So what I need to do is start saving starting in January for December so that I'm not spending everything that I just made and busting my butt to do overtime and all these other things when I can just already have it saved up. So basically it's um you'll choose or you decide on how much you want to spend for Christmas um far as everything. Um decorations, Christmas trees, um I like to do pajamas. Um vacations, uh traveling, all these stuff that you just put in how much you want and how much you think that you want to spend and you basically divide that in how many months. And she breaks it down and this I believe this video she has um put this down. I think she did this a while ago. So she also has a video up and it's cute that every section she has like a you know YouTube video that you can go and look to have. But she also provides worksheets. So right here this one just explaining to you what she means. Set aside money for your Christmas savings every month or every paycheck and um you know, if you get paid um, once a month, you'll do it every month. If you get paid twice a month, you can, you could, it depends on you, you could divide it up every paycheck. So like I get paid twice a month, so I could just divvy it up every twice a month. She, she also provides these cute, cute little worksheets. I love it. So I downloaded that and I uploaded it into, into, oops, I put a little mark. No, I'm marking it. No! There we go. Um, so, I downloaded it and I put it in here. So here I said I budgeted. I know that looks weird, but um, let me just erase it and redo it, shall we? Because for some reason, I cannot write today. There we go. So I'm saying I'm budgeting a thousand dollars for Christmas. Um, my son will be six years old this year. He's going to need clothes, shoes, and I'm pretty sure his toy or gadget or because as of right now he's into this whole motocross. Um, ATV thing so helmets and all that other stuff if he wants that I'm going to need a bigger budget um, but that also includes like decorations like I said food um, givings um, Christmas cars traveling and I'm marking it again um, let me take let me take it off there we go um, so it doesn't just mean gifts it means giving back, um, food, all of that stuff. And so here it says like, let me zoom in a little bit. Here it says um, your savings plans. Um, I'm going to say that there are 11 months until Christmas because I want to be done saving by uh, November. So that if I wanted to buy anything, um, I could buy gifts Black Friday. And then I won't be stressing because the stress of the struggle bus is real in December. Man, it was ridiculous. So I would like to get that done in November. Start buying things, even if it's just online and having it being shipped. Boy, oh boy, the struggle is real. I want to say there are 11 months until Christmas. I must save $90 each month to reach my savings goal, which 
falls out to be because I get paid twice a week will be $45 every paycheck. I'm going to try really, really, really hard to not fall on my face because it hurts. <laughs> but if I do, I'm getting back up and I'm doing the mess out of this, okay? So also included in this uh, worksheet is um, cute little total for gifts. So I haven't broke down like all I know, I just, I just, I know I want this. So I haven't broke down how much in that thousand dollar budget do I want for gifts. I haven't figured that out. But it once, if you figured it out, you put that there, and then it has the who's or my son, and obviously I said everything, and then my immediate family um, question marks because I I don't know. Then you have friends. I'm an acquaintances. I'm not finished filling all of these out. So they give you two sides. So you could um, have more and more people if you wanted to. And then on the other side, it has like your Christmas cards. And this would be really, really cute if I actually sat down and um, if I actually sat down and actually tried to make Christmas cards and do all of that things. But if I do this year, then you will be, you'll write down your family members and their addresses. And if you're gonna give it to them in person, if you're gonna mail it, mail it, then you can check off if you send it. And so as far as that goes, that's where I am. And I'm looking forward to doing the rest of this challenge. I have a couple of other people, family members and friends and co-workers that um, are going to do this challenge with me. I kind of am forcing them to do it with me um, because who doesn't need savings? So we all, like I might be driving this struggle bus, but there's some people, you know, behind me in this in these passenger seats and I'm going to lead them to victory so let's go let's try to do this okay but I am so looking forward to it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments um I'm on Instagram at Shanna's Life's On Point um that also will be in the description below um, thank you for listening to me ramble and how crazy and off this was, but that's what's happening. So in January, five letter word sa savings, starting your Christmas budget. Um, and there you go. So I probably will be back. What is this? I'll probably, I'll probably record right here um, on the 31st, on Friday, and I will let you guys know how I did, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.